What's going on guys, EGSB here. Today I have another video for you and this one is gonna be about the 2020 MacBook Air versus the 2021 iPad Pro. And which one might be better if you're looking to pick up one of these devices? Now, before I do get into the video, I'm gonna kindly ask you guys to hit the subscribe button and comment down below and let me know that you've subscribed. That will enter you to win a $25 Apple or Amazon gift card just by being a subscriber. So the winner will be announced in two weeks from today's date. And all you gotta do is be a subscriber. Now let's get into the video. What I'm gonna do is a little bit of a competition. I'm gonna compare the iPad Pro versus the M1 MacBook Air in a few different categories, and then I'm gonna pick a winner of each category. And whichever one wins the most categories will be the overall winner, and the one that I'd suggest for most of you to pick up if you're looking to pick up one of these devices. Let's start off with the price. The iPad Pro starts at $799, while the base model MacBook Air starts at $999. So if you're going off price at $799, of course the iPad Pro is the winner of this category because it's cheaper. Next up is the features. As I said, iPad Pro, $200 cheaper. But if you were to pay the $200 more, what you would get is a built-in keyboard, two USB-C ports compared to one on the iPad Pro. It can run Mac OS and support full apps and it has better speakers. Depending on your workflow, this actually might be worth the $200 for you. On the other hand though, if you wanted to save the $200, you get a few major similarities and a few advantages on the iPad Pro. One of the major similarities is that they both support Thunderbolt through USB-C. And speaking of USB-C, both of them have USB-C. On the MacBook Air, you get two USB-C ports while on the Pro, you get one. But you get some major advantages on the iPad Pro. For example, the iPad Pro has a cellular version, so that means they could get 5G. So if you're out and about, did I say about really Canadian? About, out and about. So if you're out and about, then that means that you can have a 5G option and use the device when you're on the train. Also, you get touchscreen and Apple Pencil support, which is really important for digital artists. And also speaking of the display, you get a better display on the iPad Pro because it has the liquid XDR display and the colors are a lot better, a lot brighter. And the display is overall just a better display on the iPad Pro. The winner of this is a draw because it is a little bit subjective and it really depends on what you value. Next up will be the form factor, which I personally think is the biggest difference between somebody deciding whether to get the M1 MacBook Air or the M1 iPad Pro. And the reason why is although they're both extremely portable, the designs of these two are radically different. For example, the M1 Air follows the design structure of traditional computers. What that means is you have a display and a keyboard all built into one. On the iPad Pro, it definitely favors portability. You can put it in your knapsack, put it anywhere, and be able to carry it around a lot easier than you would be able to carry around a laptop. And yes, again, the Air is extremely light, extremely portable, but it does not really compare to the design of the iPad Pro. Personally speaking, in terms of design, I do like the design of the iPad more. It looks more modern. So the winner for me in this category is gonna go with the iPad, just because I, I think that a lot more people will benefit from the form factor of the iPad compared to the MacBook. Next up, I'm gonna be talking about the apps. And the iPad Pro definitely has access to more apps. I mean, it's the appeal of going to an Apple device. You really get millions of apps in the App Store. And there's an app for just about anything that you'd like. Do you wanna get information on how to cook a certain recipe? There's an app for that. Do you wanna play a racing game? There's an app for that as well. Again, there's tons of apps on the App Store. But with the new M1 version of Apple's computers, they allow developers to export their apps from iPad OS to Mac OS, but also the Mac OS apps are full fledged. For example, for me, I edit these YouTube videos, so I'm definitely going to need something like Final Cut. It works a lot better than some of the alternatives on the iPad Pro for me. A little bit of a draw, but I'm going to have to give the edge to iPad because the iPad definitely has more apps available than it does on the MacBook. Okay. 
So who wins? Drum roll, please. That sounds horrible. I don't know how to do drum rolls. I'm not a drummer. So the winner of this competition is definitely gonna go to the iPad. I think the iPad is a better overall device, especially when the, there's a possibility that Apple will decide to add full-fledged apps to the iPad. I mean, again, it has a better display. It has the same M1 chip. It has a lot more apps and it's a lot more portable than the MacBook Air. But that doesn't mean that the MacBook Air loses in a long shot. That was it. Let me know down below if you're deciding between both of them, what device you're gonna pick up, whether you think that the form factor of an iPad makes a lot more sense to you than going with a computer or a laptop. Drop them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for a chance to win the $25 Apple or Amazon giveaway. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, then go down to the comments, drop a comment, letting me know that you subscribed and you're entered for the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.